This fishbowl represents an ecosystem. It is a place where living and non-living things interact with each other. Abiotic factors are the non-living components of an ecosystem. In the fishbowl, this includes the water and its temperature, the rocks, and the amount of oxygen. Biotic factors are living factors. The fish and the plants are the biotic factors in the fishbowl ecosystem. Organisms instinctively reproduce as many times as possible. Populations have the potential to increase indefinitely. But an ecosystem can only support a certain number of individuals. Why? Let's look at the growth of the fish population once again on this graph here. What does that dotted line represent? And why can't the population increase after it? The dotted line represents the carrying capacity of the fishbowl ecosystem. The carrying capacity is the maximum population that can be supported by an ecosystem. Notice that we say support, not fit or hold. We could fit a lot of fish in the fishbowl, but we can only support a certain number of individuals. Populations that surpass the carrying capacity cannot be supported. There are not enough resources to support all individuals. Stable populations remain near the carrying capacity. The carrying capacity is determined by the amount of resources in the environment. Environmental factors that prevent populations from further increasing are called limiting factors. In aquatic ecosystems, available oxygen is often a limiting factor. If resources increase, carrying capacity increases as well. But in our fishbowl, it wasn't a matter of space. It was more likely the amount of oxygen that limited the growth of the fish population. If we add more plants, they'll produce more oxygen. And if there's more oxygen in the fishbowl, the carrying capacity can increase. We can support more fish. If the carrying capacity increases, the population will increase as well. Carrying capacity, the maximum number of individuals that can be supported by an ecosystem.